I got one. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Uh, I got my hands on one. I had to do some back channel shit to get one. Um, the the launch was a complete shit show, absolute shit show. Every website crashed. Every uh, my god, every even when I got to like checkout, it would just crash constantly. Every website crashed. The uh, the Nvidia one didn't even like. It just went from like notify me to out of stock. It, there, at no point was that one for sale at all. It's such horseshit. Um, apparently bots got them all in like, in like a nanosecond. Like they just bought them all out in one second. But, um, anyway, what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing a basic unboxing. Actually, let's do that right now. Hell, I, I, I haven't even actually opened this thing yet at all. I don't know. I want to see what the hell is inside of here. Uh, I don't want to show any serial numbers or anything to see how I got it. They can't track that shit down. Let's see here. Not gonna lie, the uh, the the OEM boxing is kind of lackluster. Come on, EVGA. This is like I guess they just had to rush it out the door. Maybe here, you know what? Let me angle the camera down if I can, like this. All right, yeah, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, let's take this out. Oh, it is brand new. It's not like a review sample or anything, so that's nice. Nice. All right. Oh, my kitty's coming down. Hi, kitty. You know what the frustrating thing is? If you go to, like, the bigger tech tubers, they got their, their, their beautiful night's sleep... I'm like staying up. I didn't get any sleep last night. I was mashing the F5 button since 9 p.m. last night. And it's 2 p.m. right now. And I haven't slept yet. And you got these guys as with their videos with like, they got the Founders Edition. They have the, uh, they have like every single AIB model in their background. Like, like there's like a thousand total units in the entire country. And like, Jay's two cents has like 30 of them in his garage. Like it's insane. It's insane. I understand why AIBs do it. Cause like the more products you get to the press, the more that they promote your product and the more that you can sell in the future when you actually do get stock. But man, there are a lot of unfortunate people out there that did not get cards. And it was like, uh, yeah. Literally no one in my Discord got one except for me. Nobody. Um, I actually got more than one and I might even just like give it to my fans because this is ridiculous. Like there's no, there's no cards. The fact that these bigger tech tubers have like 10 cards each. If you think about it, that's like 10 cards each plus 10 tech tubers. Yeah, I am a little bit salty about that. Like, like I don't, I don't expect a review sample. I'm not even close to big enough for that. I expect nothing. I will always get it myself. But when there's that much of a shortage, Asus, EVGA, Gigabyte, MSI, you guys should not be sending five different models to each of these tech tubers. Like, you know, you don't have any stock. Like, you should take care of your fan base, not. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you get five cards to a reviewer, that that translates to uh, ten thousand conversions later of sales. Like maybe that's the whole point, right? Maybe the shortage thing was the big game plan. All, but man, like just seeing tech tubers with that many cards, personally, is unacceptable. That should not be okay. Mark this going forward. If slash when I ever get big enough to get that many review samples, I'm going to keep one and give the rest of them away to my fan base because uh, that's unacceptable. Like, these people should be giving away their extra stock. They don't need 10, 30, 80s. They don't need them. It doesn't... You don't need them. Like, ugh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go do some thermal testing here and some benchmarks. 
Uh, first thing that we're going to see is, was I right about the 2080 Ti being power modded and it being the same? Let's, I just want to confirm that for myself first. The haters are probably going to hate me even more now because I actually did get one. And I've been saying the whole time that you don't need one because the 2080 Ti is the same. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm going to get one to test my theory. That was the whole point. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Got the card here. EVGA XT3 model. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go be doing some um, thermal testing, benchmarks. I'm going to do the whole benchmark suite um, before I take it apart to see what it how it works right out of the box. And I'm going to do that right now and I will be back with some results. Alright, I'm going to have to cut the benchmark short here. But um, let me show you some preliminary numbers here. And they're... There's, there's definitely a few things that are broken. Let me explain. Uh, let me bring this up here. All right. So, you can see on the left here, these are the numbers that I just did with Fire Strike and Time Spy. Um, this card that I have is definitely faster than the Founder's Edition one in, um, in that leak that, uh, that I did a comparison on before. But... The percentages are almost the same. Like, like, the, like. Obviously, okay. So let me let me go through this. This number here was out of the box, and this number here was a hundred percent fan speed. So seventy three C it runs at out of the box sixty two C. I mean, obviously nobody's gonna run a hundred percent fan speed, but I just wanted to see what happens with the boost algorithm when it gets colder, right? Assuming that we're going to be running water blocks on these things. So it gets a quite a quite a good performance boost by just running cooler, right? Um, uh, let's see here. So the percentages uh, gains over a power modded 2080 Ti are about the same of what my leak comparison was. It's the same shit. It's a 3% it's a difference when you crank the fan speed. That's all. Like... Like, I'm not going to go through all these numbers when they're all lining up the exact same. So, yeah. So what does that mean? I was right. Hey, haters. I was right. I got my own card to prove it now, you idiots. And even though I'm right, I guarantee someone will post down below why I'm wrong. I literally have a 3080 and my power modded 20, 2080 Ti. And they'll be like... You tested it wrong because you didn't do this. Like, shut up, you idiot. On to some actual data, though. It's the, the drivers and the overclocking software is definitely broken. Um, I tried Afterburner and EVGA, what the heck was it, XOC Precision or whatever. Even if you move the power slider, it, this one goes to 107%, which I think is like 350 watts. It doesn't work. Um... It still cuts it off at 320 watts. So, like, I'm sure that'll be fixed in the future, but I'm pretty sure that's why none of the big tech reviewers, I'm pretty sure why their overclocking numbers were garbage. It doesn't work right now. Because, like, even if I put the slider to 107%, and then I increase the core clock by, like, 50 megahertz by this with the slider, um, it doesn't actually boost any higher because it's hitting the power limit. So, um... You're, you're better off running it cooler right now than you are trying to overclock it because the power limit can't be increased past 320 watts. Um, it also, it boosts to about 1950 megahertz out of the box at about one volt around there. 1920 to 1980 and it goes like one volt and like 1980 millivolts for anyone that's interested in like the, um, the actual power draw of these things. They're... They're, so they're drawing a shitload of power at a much le uh, lower voltage than Turing is, which is in which is interesting. Like if you put Turing at one volt, it draws way less power than 320 watts. So like the the extra transistor density is definitely pulling a lot more power at a lower voltage, um, which is exactly what's expected with a smaller node, right? That's why. If you power mod a 2080 Ti, crank that voltage up and it's fine. You're, 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 
both of these cards are drawing the exact same power. Like, like I was right the whole time. The whole time. So, if you are one of the unfortunate few that didn't get a 3080, if you can find a 2080 Ti for a really good price and you're and you're okay using a hot glue gun with some resistors, just go for it. Just grab it. You won't be disappointed. Um, it's within 10%. Like, it's... Like, you won't be disappointed. Like, you can just crank the power of the 2080 Ti, come within 10% of this thing, and you're laughing all the way to the bank, and then you don't have to deal with the stress of hitting the refresh button the whole time. Like, for anyone that sold the 2080 Ti's, you made a mistake. It, this was This is not worth the upgrade. The benefit of the 3080, though, like I said in my other videos, it runs that fast out of the box. Which, I would assume for the mass, mass, mass ma majority of users is uh, almost invaluable in itself. Because there's a lot of people that don't want to take apart their card and void the warranty. Which, that's illegal. It doesn't void the warranty. Void the warranty and glue resistors on and like i understand that people are really anxious about technology and like the fragileness of it that's where the 3080 does come into play here you throw it in you and you just run it you don't have to run afterburner you don't have to voltage lock your card you don't have to flash any bioses you literally throw it in and it works that's for people that aren't tinkerers and they're just gamers and they don't care, that is a big value of this card. Big. Like, it, it's running 10% faster than my 2080 Ti. And I put a lot of effort to making that thing as fast as it could be. So, I like, I understand why this is so appealing to most people. Like, I get it. I get it. So, I think I'm going to cut it here for this video just because... Yeah, this is a, like, there's so much content to be made on this that I want to just, like, get one video out. And then while that one's, like, nurturing the YouTube algorithm, I can actually get to some work and tear down and stuff and do some nice B-roll and shit. Um, I'm definitely shunt modding this thing. It, it, it's, it's power choked, for sure. I want to, I want to see how it scales. Um, so to wrap this up, Cole's notes... Uh, overclocking is broken right now with power sliding. Um, for this model anyway. I don't know about the other ones. Um, core increasing doesn't work at all because it's power limited. It does boost higher with, uh, cooler temperatures. Runs at about 1 volt. And it boosts to about 1950 megahertz out of the box. Um, so like I was saying in the 2080 Ti videos... If it's around the 2 gigahertz mark out of the box, even when I shunt mod it, it's not going to have a lot of headroom just because it's, it's the, it's, it's, NVIDIA already, that's why it runs so fast out of the box. NVIDIA already put it at the peak of its efficiency curve. So if you power mod it and increase the voltage, it's going to start doing this instantly. There's no headroom. There's no headroom at all. I can already tell what it's doing, that there's not going to be any headroom, but that will be the next video. Um, I'm going to do a teardown shunt mod, and we're going to see what this thing can really do um, w with some mods. And I might do some, um, uh, actually I'll do also do some um, thermal paste testing. I might do some liquid metal on this thing too, just to, to really crank her uh, before anybody else does. But that's it for this video, guys. Um, if, if, if you're stressed out, get a 2080 Ti and just be happy and wait for more stock. Wait for a 3080 Ti. Uh, do the resistor trick. Check that video. And I hope you guys learned something. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button so that I can get some damn review samples so I can get this information to you faster because, uh, I might not be able to score cards like this on every launch like i like i can't pull that many favors that that many times right so um anyway guys hopefully you like the video like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for joining me probably tomorrow i'll post another one um talk to you later